upset him. So, I mean, I'm glad I'm right about that. So, give me Notre Dame knockoff Navy here. Number 14 is coming up next here on the list here. As we track down the matchups of college football this week. What what outside, besides you, uh, what outside of a game you're looking for in the top 25, Mike? Outside of top twenty five, what game are you looking forward to the most? Oh, that's very tough. I haven't really been able to pay attention much to what's going on schedule wise. I've been so busy with school and work people that I have no time to really been paying attention to football. I've only been able to watch one game a week, basically the U L game, and that's it. I was doing other stuff before that game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I like both the schools, and I think it's gonna be a very good game. They're both good teams in their conference. Uh, I gotta go with that game. All right, that's good, Mike. Um, next game on the list: New Mexico State versus number fourteen Ole Miss. Who you got in that game, Mike? Fought Hemingway Stadium. Well, they're playing at what? Well, I was reading an article on ESPN talking about how New Mexico State hasn't had a winning season. All right, I'll... I read the article up on ESPN talking about why they schedule is hard teams and all, and they constantly have losing seasons on a 12-game losing streak. So, I mean, if this was to be an upset, I think it'd be one of the biggest upsets in the past couple of years. Probably I'm so. I'll go to Ole Miss. I'll go to Ole Miss, too. I think they will win this game. Now, that's picking it straight. It's a matchup, matchup basis. Now, Mike, who would you pick if you were given New Mexico State 45 points like Vegas is going to do this week? If Ole Miss gave New Mexico State 45 points, would you pick New Mexico State over Ole Miss? Or do you think they'll cover it? Uh, I, I don't know. I would. You don't think they would? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think Ole Miss could cover it pretty easily. I mean, like I said, this team, they might have pulled something out. But when I look at how, like I said, we would always, I'll just talk off the back, off, off my hand, whatever, about how they haven't had a good season in a long time. But until I really read the article that was just posted on ESPN, I was like, yeah, no, yeah, this team's definitely not that good. Yeah. All right, here's a classic match that we're going up to next here. This one could actually potentially be a very good game this week. It could actually have huge implications in the ACC, I believe. The U. The Miami Hurricanes take on number 12, Florida State. They going down to Tallahassee. Who you got, Mike? Give me the Hurricanes. Hurricanes, upset Give me the it. Hurricanes. Florida State's a good school, don't get me wrong. But I got to go to you. Yeah, Miami has made improvements over the last couple of years, in my opinion. Um, you know what, Mike? I'm agree with you there. Give me the Hurricanes as well. I think Florida State goes down this week. I think uh, it'll be good for the Hurricanes. I think they got their three and one this year, but I think they'll knock off Florida State. I think it'll be close. Give like about a touchdown, though. Well, we agree on something there. Now, number eleven is the team that upset at Ole Miss last week, Mike, and I'm pretty sure you know who exactly who I'm talking about here. Yeah. They uh did a very they they wore them orange jerseys, which that was pretty cool. What do you thought about Florida orange jerseys, Mike? I like them. I always like Florida top of, even their regular uniform. They're pretty nice. I do like the colors, the blue and the orange going together, and all. It looks pretty nice. All right, number eleven, Florida versus Missouri, Mike. Who you got? Give me Florida. They're playing in Columbia, Missouri. If that changes your pick. That, that does mean 
no good. Missouri is not the team I and I think you both expect it to be. So I got to go with Florida, especially after the prompt upset last week. Will Greyer has been pretty good for Florida this year. Uh, Matty Malk, he's been struggling this year. Um, yeah, Missouri's been a weird case this year. I think Florida will win this game, though. And Vegas is saying three points, but I think it'll be more than that. Ten points, Florida beats Missouri. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I think that huge win against Ole Miss it's going to be a big booster for this team here. They're going to be able to thump their chest a little bit here. They might play more swagger and everything else like that. So Now, the Red River rivalry, Mike. Number 10, Oklahoma versus Texas. Who you got? Oklahoma. Easily, Oklahoma. Texas, man. They, they, they need to get their stuff together. They're about to lose. Yeah, Texas is one of those programs that we never really thought we would see them drop this bad. I mean, look, TCU, don't get me wrong, hands down, one of the best, if not the best team in the country. But the whooping they put on Texas, folks, is just, that, 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 that should happen. Especially in conference play, that should never happen. Yeah, I got Oklahoma winning this one. Baker Mayfield's going to make Texas secondary look silly this week, I believe. Now, Charlie Strong could probably save his job if they actually beat Oklahoma. Because I think they could lose every single game except this game, and they could, he could keep his job because he beat Oklahoma. You say that. But I'm looking for the boosters who are paying most of Charlie Strong's salary. They want a winning season, especially since... Texas has a rich history of having a good football program. I think this is his second year, am I right? It's his second year, correct, but it's still like, it's it just, last year was pretty good. I could understand the <laughs> year he had last year. But this year so far, uh, no, it, it ain't cutting it. I think they might give him one more year. I think they'll give him one more year. If they fire him before this year, because they're going to be like, well, if he don't do great next year, he's getting the axe. Yeah, yeah, no, he definitely deserves possibly one. It depends. If he loses every game like he did that TCU game this year, then no. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would definitely fire him after that. Now, if it's a couple of close losses, then I can understand. Yeah, like, he puts up a good game this week against Oklahoma, puts up a good game against Oklahoma State, against West Virginia, and all that. I mean, yeah, then I could be like, yeah, you know what, I'll give him one more year. He don't do it, then guess what? Bye-bye, you better go find yourself another team. Yeah, I mean, uh, Charlie Strong, everybody was thinking he was going to be able to change Texas around real quick, but, um, I mean, it hasn't happened so far, guys. It's uh, disappointing, to say the least. It really is. I thought he would be able to do be a very good thing for Texas, but he's not showing it so far. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Number nine, I don't find them, so we'll jump up to number eight. This week, here, um, Arkansas Razorbacks go to Bryant Denny Stadium to take on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Oof. Uh, yeah, Alabama not. I mean, uh, Arkansas not so great of a team this year, especially after the past couple weeks they've been having. So you, you know what? Just go ahead, and give me Alabama. I. I do think Arkansas could keep it close, but they they just have that way of doing stuff like that, of just the pond out of nowhere. So, you know, just go ahead and give me Alabama. Alabama, after what they did to Georgia last week, and I like to call that I take that pick right. Um, two people on the show did not take it right, but we're not going to discuss names because you don't want to. We don't want to hurt people's feelings, but the two people picked it wrong. I'm like, yeah, I mean, wow, well, Alabama's going to make this one. It's just crazy, but yeah, give me Alabama with this. Well, I paid Georgia last week because I thought Georgia was a different team than their past. Well, apparently they're re they're redoing what they did in their past couple of seasons. So now the jury's out on Georgia about that. So uh, I got Alabama knocking off Arkansas this week here. 
Arkansas look very dismal. They'll keep things close, I believe, but uh, or they might just get spanked. It depends on what Arkansas team shows up. So, yeah, I got Alabama winning this one, though, hands down. All right, here's a uh, game that's been talked about all this week, be not because of the, the big marquee matchup, but because of what's happening on the East Coast, which all our friends on the East Coast, we uh, hope y'all are safe. Or we send our prayers out to y'all and everything else. So, number seven, LSU versus South Carolina. Mike? Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a home game for South Carolina. And, of course, the flooding, like we said, pray for y'all. But the, the flooding stopped the game from happening at South Carolina. LSU and her trying to make everything feel like a South Carolina game day, which I found was pretty cool and nice of them, even though they do know, like they said, that all the money is going back to South Carolina anyway. Um, I, man, it's just, it's not having the year yet. And I got to no. go LSU. It, it's, I said, if Leonard Fournette would ever get hurt, then I could maybe question some of my picks. But with Leonard Fournette in the backfield, I don't really see South Carolina Bay on the win, even though last week we clowned Eastern Michigan for possibly getting like pistol whipped out the stadium. Like we thought it wasn't even to be nowhere near close, and Eastern Michigan went there and played their hearts out and actually probably could have won that game. So I give props to them, but I don't see LSU winning this game. Yeah, I think LSU will win this game. I don't think South Carolina will put too much of a thing. We did clown Eastern Michigan, and we're sorry for that. Um, Y'all did play a great game. Uh, usually Juicy is the one who starts the clowning and I usually when someone starts clowning something I usually jump in on it because I just like the clown things we're we're a joking group of friends so that's how we do things that's how we are, how we, are. We, ba we basically do this show like maybe having a conversation to each, other, to each other except all the jokes some jokes we leave off because they're not appropriate they're so. definitely not appropriate but I mean I got LSU but, you know, knocking off South yeah. Carolina though I don't think um South Carolina will have a Steve Spurrier. His team's in disarray right now, so they're two and three. <laughs> I don't think they'll go into Baton Rouge and knock off LSU. All right, now we keep going up the list here, and uh, we're about to hit that top five, though, Mike. But before we get to the top five, Georgia Tech, which is having a very disappointing year, number six, Clemson, Mike. Well, I think you said, oh, uh, uh, give me Clemson. They beat Notre Dame. They're coming off a good win. Uh, Georgia Tech just, oof. Their biggest win was against Alcorn State, where they scored 70 points. And you're like, wow. I mean, yes, against Alcorn State, but wow, the team could score. And it just can't win. So, uh, yeah, I got I got to go Clemson. Yeah, I got Clemson win this one, too. Deshaun Watson's going to be pretty good for Clemson, I think, this year. And uh, Wayne... Artavia Scott and all them, they're all going to do very well, I think, in this game. And they're going down to Death Valley in Clemson Memorial Stadium. So, yeah, give me the, give me Clemson to win this game. I kind of find that kind of interesting that Clemson didn't move their game either. You know? I mean, I, I thought Notre Dame could have won that game. No, I'm talking about the uh, weather, the hurricane. Like that, yeah. I mean, I mean, they're in South Carolina too, but hey, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not over there. I'm not over there to know what's going on, so it's just an observation. I don't know South Carolina enough to know where they're located and where, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. All right, so. we're going to skip five and go up number four Michigan State versus Rutgers, Mike. Give me the Michigan State sports. I think Michigan State will win this one too. I feel pretty confident about this one. Yeah. Same here. I think Connor Cook is going to have a good day. I haven't heard him being talked about the Heisman too much, which I think he kind of deserves it. I mean, bottom bottom of the list of Heisman, for sure. Yeah, but I think he should be talked bottom. about, though. I think he's kind of deserved front it. Runner? Nah. Not in front of Leonard yet. You have to have a heck of no. All right. Number three, Baylor versus Kansas. Mike? I see a upset happening somewhere else except at this game. 
Kansas, first week of football, I watched them play against, if I'm not mistaken, it was South Dakota Jackrabbits. 